My name is Dr. Crushell. I am a family physician here at Wellia. I've worked here about eight years, and I do full-spectrum family medicine, so inpatient, outpatient, and OB. So a question I often get is, what is mRNA and can it affect my DNA? So mRNA stands for messenger RNA. DNA is the stuff that's in the nucleus or the very center of our cells, and it is the code or the blueprint for life, right? It tells our cells what to do for our entire lives. Um, and RNA is like if DNA was the blueprint, RNA is the contractor. RNA reads the blueprints, goes out, and does whatever job it's supposed to do. So in this case, an mRNA vaccine is a little piece of mRNA or the contractor, so a little tiny contractor that's put into our cells to give our cells instructions to make a protein, which is, helps us become immune to COVID. Any piece of mRNA can never get into the nucleus or into our DNA of the cell because DNA is tightly packaged and super prote protected in the middle of our cells and mRNA cannot get in there. Therefore, it can never change our DNA. Also, the mRNA is very unstable. So as soon as it's been, um, as soon as it's done its job of making a protein, it is destroyed and goes away and is no longer detectable in our cells. Just the protein that it made, which is what gives us immunity to COVID. One question I get a lot is, um, do vaccines affect fertility uh, or pregnancy? And at this point in time, we have uh, no evidence that the vaccine is uh, harmful to pregnancy, pregnant people, or the baby. Um, and we also have no evidence that it impacts fertility at all. Uh, when a person who is pregnant contracts COVID, we know that they are much higher risk for severe illness than non-pregnant people. Um, that means that they are more likely to require uh, admission to the hospital, um, oxygen, or even a ventilator. Um, when people are high risk like that, um, one way to bring that risk down is to actually get the vaccine. Um, there is a lot of preliminary data coming out now from these big databases that have been tracking people who got the vaccine while pregnant, and so far there have been no um, adverse effects noted, either for the moms or the babies. Um, and there's been no evidence um, that fertility has been impacted at all. So really, when you kind of weigh out, it's all about weighing out risks and benefits, and especially in pregnancy, when we can't actually do studies just on pregnant people. We have to kind of like extract that information from populations that already exist, that either they didn't know they were pregnant and got the shot or willingly got the shot when they're pregnant because they're higher risk in other ways. Maybe they're a nurse or a pharmacist or a teacher and they have to go to work and they wanted to be protected against COVID. Um, so we have these pools of people who have gotten the shot and um, that's where we're getting this information, and um, so far it's all really uh, reassuring.